Day three of building whatever the hell this is supposed to become. Uh, this time we got a new box of screws containing hopefully screws that are short enough so that I can permanently or semi-permanently mount this here together and I believe this should be fine. Those are pretty short if you ask me. So let's just jam them in to be sure that this never falls apart and then we can continue with the other panels. Uh, okay, I guess let's first start with the high panels. Those are the ones which are not going to move anywhere anyway. And they are on the opposing side of the short ones, which fits perfectly fine. So let's put some of that glue. I still didn't Google how to call this in English, but this should work just fine. Somewhat like this. Now let's make my life easier and just immediately dr drill a screw in here, which is kind of hard because the whole thing keeps falling apart. Mm. It's falling apart. No! Stay together, for God's sake. Maybe I'll just wait a minute until the glue dries because it just keeps falling apart. I'll just do it now. Perfect! Almost looks like a case. Almost. Now, the thing is, there is glue in between these panels, but because there isn't enough weight, it just keeps falling off. Or like, coming apart, but like for a millimeter. So it, it doesn't really matter, but it kind of annoys me. And the last panel will go here. Can I somehow do this without the whole thing falling apart? Yeah, I think if I pull, if I put it on the side. And if I now do this, perfect. And the last piece, which I can already do with the thing standing. Finally, finally. So this is almost the base of the whole Construction. Now there is one piece missing, which is this one, which is going to be mounted on top of this here. And the thing is, in case I ever need to get to the power supply, which I definitely will at some point, uh, I did not want to like hard mount it, because otherwise I need to like destroy the whole thing just to get to the power supply. So my idea was to use the same construction that we are going to use for the fans and for the plates that are going to mount to all of this by drilling holes or two and then mounting them using these weird ass clamps. And as far as I understand, the screws that I purchased aren't quite long enough to get through these side mounts there. Let me just check. No, they are almost long enough. Those are M4 screws, but I believe I have longer ones somewhere. I don't have longer M4 screws. Great! I need to go back again. Oh, God damn it. So instead of doing nothing for the rest of this episode, we are already going to prepare this panel and the bottom one for the power supply because I know exactly where it will be mounted and I have an SFX power supply just at hand. And this is the Be Quiet SFX L500 watts. Now the reason I'm going to use it is because I hate it and I don't want to use it anymore. It is not bad, it's a 750 watt power supply, fully modular, it's not that it is particularly bad. The issue is, once the fan starts spinning, that thing is so hella loud. It is really really loud and especially if compared to like my Seasonic uh, SFX power supply. So I really hate it and the issue with this particular one is once it goes like above 250, 300 watts workload and the fan starts spinning because it starts to heat up, the fan just never stops. Like the Sonic one, that one stops at some point, but this one doesn't. It just keeps spinning and annoying the hell out of me. So I'm going to bury it in here where I will never hear it again. So at this point we know where the holes need to be, so that's not my concern. I essentially just need to make like a cutout for the air to escape and for the button to be pressed and for the power cable. It's 
nothing that complicated. So let me just take some sort of pencil and just start making some marks. Let's say we mount it relatively in the center. So here and based, if I look at it, yeah, I will need roughly from here. And let's say I'll do it until here. Yeah, that, that should do it. If I, if I cut out like this middle section here, then I have enough like leftover wood to, to mount down all of this. This should, should do just fine. Now I just need to cut out exactly what I just casually drawn on there. Dremel time. Oh no, if I do that, somebody's going to kill me. Yeah, this is better. What we are going to use my Dremel for is actually pretty cool. I have these drill bits that are actually drilling to the side and not like from the top down. And I used this back in the day to cut like round holes. So I just drilled like one starting point, then I hooked up the Dremel to like a, let's say a central point of the, the circle. And with the sidewise working drill, I could just like make a complete turn and there you had a perfectly shaped hole. And this is exactly how I'm going to do to use it to uh, cut this now square hole, but I can I will just do it like by hand that should do just fine. And oh my god, do I love Dremel and all of their stuff. Perfect. Now let's just drill the starting point into this. But for that I will use like a regular one. Okay, we have a starting point. And now let's go with the Dremel. Ta-da! I can't hear anything. Oh my god. But hey, even now with reduced hearing, the whole thing worked flawlessly. And because this is MDF, sanding it down is so freaking easy. And because it's basically just dust, you will inhale it. And I probably already have cancer now. <sighs> Let's have a look. Looks perfectly fine to me. Oh yeah, we can still do one more thing because of the bottom fan and it doesn't need so much air but I want to have some hole in the bottom but for that I have something even better. To make in the, the hole in the bottom we have this here which is an adapter for the usual drill but how do I open it? Okay. I have no clue if this has a name but this, this will do the job just fine. But before we can use it, we actually know, need to know exactly where uh, the hole is going to be. And then, although this diameter is smaller than the fan, I mean, the fan really doesn't need a lot of energy. The whole system won't use more than like 100 watts. I doubt that the fan will run at all. So I'm fine with the hole being slightly too small. So let's measure out where that hole needs to be and then just... Yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, so the power supply will be roughly here, which means... So we do know where the power supply is going to be, so we also know where roughly we need to cut that hole. Just somewhere there. And now I just need to elevate the thing to a degree where we won't like destroy my table if anything goes wrong. Okay, now we should be safe, so let's roughly estimate. I am 100% sure that this is not how you are supposed to do it. Please do not repeat what I'm about to do here. Please work. This will go so bad. Oh, I'm almost through. I'm almost through. Oh, I'm already through. You see how well this worked? Great. And now we have a perfect hole in the middle where the power supply will be over, providing it with air, somewhat like this. Oh damn, this worked perfectly fine. But I think for today I created enough of our mess. I need to get to cleaning all of this a bit, but we are quite far in, uh, in this whole project. For the next time, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Instead of going and getting new screws, what I can do, 
is hit this tiny thing from the back. I will show you. Hit this into this one, giving it a few more millimeters. And if I then from the other side mount that M4 screw, it will protrude enough to make contact. Oh my God, I could have done this all along. Oh, let's, let's quickly do this. Like as the last step for today, we will mount that thing so that I'm, I'm just done with this part. I actually just need to screw this into place and I just need to know the exact position for it. Okay, so now I can just take a random screw, screw this one in and then later on remove the screw, screw the M M4 screw through and I'm kind of done here. So I will now drill the holes through here. From the other side, I will pre-mount these like retention, whatever the hell they are called, those hooks, and I will uh, hammer them into the wood, giving me the millimeter that I need to mount the M4 screw from the other side, allowing me to install this thing from the top and remove it without destroying the whole case. Oh my God, this was so easy today. And now this one. Now two of these will go onto the inside of this. In a normal case, I would just hammer them down, but I can't reach that spot with a hammer. So what I'm going to do is just use this clamp and then normally it should provide like enough force to push that thing into the wood. Yeah, it does perfectly fine. Okay, first one is in there. Second one onto the other side. It is in there too. And this means that I can now take this bracket, use two very regular M4 screws and a even more regular Phillips head screwdriver. Oh my God, I'm so proud of that now. Worked flawlessly and it is pretty strongly in there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So this means that the bottom panel of everything is finally done. Oh boy. Great. The power supply has mounting. I just need to drill four more holes for the screws of the power supply, but it got air and air out, which is great. Now for the next part, what we need to do is prepare this one because this is also going to be the plate where the motherboard is mounted too. So I'm going to not squeeze it in immediately because it's going in like this, but I will need to prepare the mounting holes for the motherboard and the potential GPU or whatever I will use for a GPU and mount all of that onto this plate here. But that's for the next episode. For today, I just need to get to cleaning because that's it's a lot of cleaning. So yeah, I hope this starts to look partially like a case. I know, give me some more time. We are almost finished and then all of this will make sense. Just imagine that you have a fan here and a fan there and a heatsink in between. Moving air in and out. That's the plan. That's for the next few episodes. For today, cleaning. I have work to do. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.